வணக்கம் ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் திஸ் செஷன் ஆஃப் வீடியோ லெசன் திஸ் இஸ் அ ஃபவுண்டேஷன் ப்ரோக்ராம் இன் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் இன் த டாபிக் ஆஃப் ரேஷனல் நம்பர்ஸ் ஆஸ் ஐ ஆல்ரெடி டோல்ட் யூ தேட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி அ சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் வீடியோஸ் இன் விச் யூ ஆர் லிசனிங் த ஃபிஃப்த் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த வீடியோ ஃபிஃப்த் எபிசோட் ஆஃப் த வீடியோ ஆர் த ஃபிஃப்த் வீடியோ மாடியூல் யூ ஆர் லிசனிங் நவ் ஆல்ரெடி வி ஹவ் கம் அக்ராஸ் four videos in that first video is the introduction part and later on the uh, remaining videos are um, in the remaining videos we were solving uh, problems in mathematics and the five problems in each of the video in the same way we are going to solve five more problems in this video also in the chapter of uh, in the topic called as rational numbers and if you are uh, school going children of class 7 and or above then this video is suitable for you okay let us now start our session with the first question yes you can see the first question here it is actually very simple question 4 by 3 minus 8 by 9 plus 9 by 27 uh, 4 by 3 is given separately and this 8 by 9 plus 9 by 27 is given within the bracket we have to simplify this expression and we have to find the correct option in the given one okay first of all i want to take the question okay 4 by 3 minus of 8 by 9 plus 9 by 27 as we already studied that for to simplify such kind of rational expressions which are in addition or in subtraction what we have to do we have to make the denominator same but here we are having 9 here and here 27 so the first thing that i want to do here is i just keep this 4 by 3 and i want to make this i want to convert this 8 by 9 into a rational uh, into an equivalent uh, fraction okay so for that what i want to do i want to take this 8 by 9 as it is and multiplying this fraction by 3 in the numerator and 3 another one more 3 in the denominator then i will be getting 9 3 is 27 then the remaining thing i want to take as it is plus 9 by 27 so what we have in the next step 4 by 3 minus 3 8 are 24 by 27 we are having do you follow okay plus 9 by 27 okay so this is equal to 4 by 3 minus 24 plus 9 we have to add so it is actually 33 33 by 27 and this 33 by 27 in turn we may simplify that further because both of them are having that is the numerator part and denominator part are having 3 as the common factor okay so what i want to do i am going to make cancellation here so 11 3 are 33 and 9 3 are 27 okay um so what is the remaining we are having 4 by 3 minus 11 by 9 11 by 9 yeah this in turn we have to make lcm again between this denominators 3 and 9 the lcm between this 3 and 9 is 9 so i want to make both the denominators 9 for that i want to do what i want to do i want to take this 4 by 3 and along with this i am multiplying by 3 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator again minus 11 by 9 okay i think you all follow which is equal to 4 3s are 12 12 by 9 minus 11 by 9 we are having 12 by 9 minus 11 by 9 we can subtract it and it is 1 by 9 for this question the answer for this question 1 by 9 where is the option yes actually option b is showing you 1 by 9 now let us see whether this answer is correct yes option b is correct one and we are having 1 by 9 as the answer okay now we shall move to the next question the second one the additive inverse of reciprocal of minus 3 by 7 divided by 11 by minus 35 see here this question is actually uh, different first in this question my approach will be like this first i will be going to i will uh, be uh, simplifying this minus 3 by 7 divided by 11 by minus 35 okay 
after simplifying that i will be finding the reciprocal after finding the reciprocal i will be going to find i will be finding what the additive inverse okay so there are three steps in this problem first of all we have to simplify this expression and then we have to find the reciprocal and later on we have to move to find the additive inverse okay do you understand so you have to look at the question clearly what is asked in the question okay uh, after that only we have to proceed okay first of all i take the given expression minus 3 by 7 divided by 11 by minus 35 the <coughs> the first step that i am going to do is removing this that is replacing this divide symbol by multiplication symbol i want to take reciprocal of this this 11 by minus 35 will become minus 35 by 11 then i can make a cancellation here between this 3 by 7 and this minus 35 by 11 because of that 7 is the common factor between this 7 and 35 7 ones are 7 and 7 fives are 35 we are having so in the next step on simplification what we are getting 5 threes are 15 there is minus 15 is it minus 15 look at here carefully no here one minus and here also another one more minus we are having so minus into minus it will become what plus yes exactly it is plus 15 by 111s or 11 okay so plus 15 by 11 we are getting so as such i said the first thing is over that is a simplification of this expression is over what is the second step that i want to do reciprocal so reciprocal see the reciprocal what i will be having the reciprocal of 15 by 11 is 11 by 15 and after finding the reciprocal what i want to find i want to find the additive inverse already in the introduction session i told you that additive inverse is the negative of the given number so what the number we are getting 11 by 15 then the additive inverse will be the negative of the number that is negative of 11 by 15 that is minus 11 by 15 okay so minus 11 by 15 is the additive inverse okay additive inverse so the option tells us only the option a matches with our answer minus 11 by 15 so a must be the correct choice for this question and we are going to check it whether it is correct or not Yes, minus eleven by fifteen. Yeah, option A is the correct answer. Okay, let us move to the next question, question number three. Yeah, this is actually a very simple and simplification problem we are having. <coughs> I take the question as it is given here: three by five divided by four by nine into minus two by nine plus one by three. okay i will be simplifying the expression that contained in the brackets separately and finally i will be doing the product okay so first uh, 3 by 5 i keep it i replace the divide symbol into product and this 4 by 9 will become 9 by 4 into and here um, addition is there so that i want to convert into equivalent fraction for to convert it into equivalent fraction i want to multiply this fraction alone By three by three, okay. Then only the denominator will become nine. So minus two by nine, I keep it. Plus one by three, I am taking, and I want to multiply three in the numerator and three in the denominator. Okay. Then on simplification, uh, here there is no any uh, common factor between the numerator and denominator. I cannot able to make any cancellation. So I just keep it. the same 3 by 5 into 9 by 4 multiplied by minus 2 by 9 plus 3 ones are 3 by 9 which is equal to 3 by 5 multiplied by 9 by 4 3 by 5 into 9 by 4 multiplied by what you will get 3 by 9 minus 2 by 9 that is 3 minus 2 you are subtracting the numerators alone so 3 minus 2 you will be getting 1 by 9 am i right okay then in this 
we can make some cancellation work this 9 and 9 we can make cancellation we can uh, cancel it then uh, no other common factors available. So, we have to simplify this ok. On simplification we are getting 3 1s are 3 and in the denominator 5 4s are 20. So, 3 by 20 is the answer for this question is it correct 3 by 20 yeah we are having a at the option B and let us check whether it is correct or not. Yeah, 3 by 20 is the correct answer and it is option B. Yes, the next question fourth one you can see that if x is equal to 1 by 3 and y is equal to 2 by 7 multiplicative inverse of x plus y is asked. First I am going to find x plus y, x plus y I want to find. The value of x is 1 by 3 I substitute or I replace and the value of y is 2 by 7 I just replace. By the same way I want to convert it into equivalent fraction having the same denominator. So, that I want to multiply this 1 by 3 by 7 in the numerator and 7 in the denominator. By the same way this 2 by 7 has to be multiplied with 3 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. So, that 3 7 are 21. So, 7 by 21 and 6 by 21 ok. Then we can add this to 7 plus 6 is actually 13, 13 by 21 we are having. But the answer does not comes to end because it is not asked to find just x plus y, it is asked to find the multiplicative inverse of x plus y. So, we have to find the multiplicative inverse. I think you remember that what is multiplicative inverse? Multiplicative inverse is the reciprocal, yes reciprocal reciprocal of the given number. So, what the number we are getting 13 by 21 then the reciprocal is actually 21 by 13. So, 21 by 13 is the multiplicative inverse. So, which option is actually getting matched with the answer 21 by 13 option B is actually getting matched let us check with our answer yeah it is actually correct one option B is correct one. Ok, we got the right answer and we are going to the last question of this session. Um, <coughs> one equation is given like this ok. So, in that uh, we are we are we can able to see that uh, we do not know the value of x and uh, we do not know the value of y here equation as it is given in the question 1 by 2 multiplied by 3 by 4 plus minus 5 by 12 is equal to 1 by 2 into x plus y multiplied by minus 5 by 12. When I look at this expression I can able to remember that it must be the distributive property of, of multiplication over addition. Yes exactly because you can see that here it is um, we are having uh, the product and we are we are having addition ok. So, this product is this product can be distributed over this addends. So, definitely this is actually the distributive property. So, I am going to apply that distributive property here. What I am getting the right hand the left hand side I am going to take as the same 1 by 2 multiplied by 3 by 4 plus minus 5 by 12 is equal to when I distribute this 1 by 2 will be distributed first with the 3 by 4. So, 1 by 2 into 3 by 4 and later on I take this 1 by 2 and I multiply with this 5 by 12 that is minus 5 by 12. So, 1 by 2 into minus 5 by 12. Yes, distribution is over. Now, I want to find the value of x and y by comparing these two equations ok. Uh, what we can tell? by comparison the value of x is replaced by 3 by 4 and the value of y is replaced by 1 by 2. So, x is equal to 3 by 4 and y is equal to 1 by 2 yes. In the given option 3 by 4 and 1 by 2 is the first option and it must be the correct answer let us check with the answer available with us yeah option A is the correct one and it is the correct answer 
okay i am going to end up this session of class with this five questions and we will discuss further more five questions in our next class um, and as usual i want to tell you that if you like this video please like and if you want to comment about this video you please comment over the video whether it may be positive comment or it may be negative comment it would be much helpful for us for to give you better um, coaching in the future upcoming video classes okay and also subscribe our channel and finally i want to tell you god bless you thank you